developing projects in Java, we will very often rely on external libraries. Sometimes those libraries may themselves require other libraries to work, creating a complex web of dependencies which can quickly become difficult to navigate. Maven is a tool designed to make the building process easier. The idea of Maven is that we define the main dependencies of our projects, then Maven will access online repositories which will both provide the libraries themselves as well as their own dependencies. Maven will then download everything and store it into a local repository, which will then be able to be used inside the projects. The dependency management is all done through a special configuration file in Maven projects called pom.xml. When you create a new Maven project in NetBeans, a pom.xml file is automatically created. The file contains information about how to build a project and about all its dependencies. Let's say we need to do some statistical analysis in our project and we want to use the R programming language within our Java code. We can find that there is a library called Rengine which can interpret R code in the Java virtual machine. The Maven repository website includes a lot of information on all the available dependencies. You can find the Rengine packages there. Looking at the Rengine documentation, we can see that we need the Rengine script engine. In the Maven repository, you can find that the latest versions from this package are available from a repository called ImageJ Public. In the pom.xml file, we'll need to first add the repository so that Maven knows where it can find the files. A repository is defined by the identifier, a name, and the URL where Maven will find the files. Once the repository is added, we can finally add the dependency itself. When we build the project, we see that Maven downloads the library and many others. It automatically finds what needs to be installed for the Rengin script engine library to work. Finally, we can check with the basic R script that everything works according to plan. We create a new class and a main method so that we can execute some very basic code. From the documentation, we see that we need to create an engine factory, then get a script engine, which we can use to evaluate our statements. As the evaluation can throw exceptions, we need to catch them with a try catch. can check in the terminal that the R code was correctly evaluated.
most of the time, we will not need to add the repository manually, as many common libraries are available from the central Maven repository. For instance, we can easily add the MySQL connector library, which will allow us to connect to our database from our Java projects. Connecting to the database, however, will be for next time.